guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and this week I'm showing you how to do this DIY fleece inspired jean jacket which was inspired by Riverdale of course because if you like me, you're completely obsessed with the show and I've just been seeing these fleece lined and teddy bear jackets everywhere so I thought why not try to recreate this look for less of course. So I ended up picking up a jean jacket and some fleece from the thrift store and a local fabric store. And to be honest, I'm completely impressed with how it turned out and I really love the look. So let's just jump right into it and I'm gonna show you how you can create one of these jackets for yourself. For this DIY, you're gonna need a jean jacket as well as some fleece. I picked up my jean jacket from a local thrift store and my fabric was from a fabric store and you can just find any type of fleece or fuzzy material that you wanna use for this project. You also need some other quick little items like a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors and a marker just to help with some tracing. The best thing about this DIY is that when you're doing your tracing and making the measurements, you don't have to be completely precise. So what I did was I laid my jean jacket onto the fabric with the wrong side up and then used a Sharpie to create an outline just using little dots around the area that I wanted the, the fleece to go. So I stirred with the collar. So just make little dots around and this will create a little outline with it or you can use a piece of chalk just depending what you have that will show up onto your fabric. I just found that a Sharpie worked best for me and just make sure you, that you're making everything around an inch larger because you will, will be folding down the fabric. So you wanna make sure you have more than less just to be on the safe side. Now repeat this process, but for everywhere else that you wanna put fleece onto your jacket. So I end up doing the collar, the left and right side of the jacket, as well as the inside of the sleeves. And a little tip, another one is don't put the, the Sharpie too close to your jacket when making the little dots, as you will end up putting Sharpie onto your jacket, which I did. So that's a little tip that you can learn from me. Now that you have all your pieces cut out, you wanna start gluing it to your jacket. And the key here, as you can see, I'm folding over the fabric and then gluing it down to the jacket. This will make sure that there's no crease lines or any stitch marks or anything like that. And that is why I ended up gluing with the fabric to the jacket instead of sewing it. As I thought about it and sewing it would create more of a stitch line and I didn't want that look. I just wanted to see the fleece and that's it. Another tip is if you really want to see the fleece kind of hanging out of the jacket, make sure that you're gluing leaving about a quarter of an inch overlaying the jacket. So that's when you put the jacket on and you can kind of see the fleece popping out which gives it that extra kind of cozy look. So now the rest is pretty self-explanatory. You just repeat this whole process on both sides of the jacket as well as your sleeves and just keep going. And as mentioned, you're welcome to sew if you like. Just I thought this would be a great tutorial to show people that you don't always need to know how to sew or have a sewing machine to do this type of DIY as a hot glue gun will work perfectly fine. Or you could also use fabric glue, just whatever you prefer or have in the house. Now you might be asking if the buttonholes are still functional with this jacket and it is as long as you use a pair of scissors and carefully cut out the buttonhole and then it's perfectly functional again. for the fleece line jacket make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and make sure you go try this tutorial because it's super easy to do and there's no sewing so you have nothing to lose and make sure you subscribe to my channel as i'm back all the time with more diys and fashion and just travel videos so stay tuned for all of that and as always thank you for watching bye